So, uh, Nicola, I wanted to see, uh, do we have any questions from the audience that we want to bring out? Yeah, maybe a few questions. Uh, we have a question from uh, Gypsy Guyen. Um, so, she, I'm reading the question. Women at the, are at the core of caretaking in the COVID crisis and keep things together at home and only money too during the conflict. Research shows that peace lasts longer when women are involved in the process. How are women playing a role in ongoing ceasefire efforts? So I don't know if somebody on the panel uh, is willing to answer that question. Maybe, I don't I know. I think uh, Amir was nodding. I don't know if that, that means you want <laughs> to uh, say something about women's participation in Yemen. Uh, well, in our case, uh, our case, unfortunately, uh, I mean, I think we were we were the last to to, to ask about about the, the Yemen. The uh, the Yemen, uh, I mean, we from our side we try to to put in lots of efforts. I mean, to put women on the on the front front side to, to uh, as as we know that we have so much examples. If, if women are part of of this, they they. they they are serious and and they are less political than the uh, than than the men, unfortunately. Uh, in our case, uh, in our case, uh, uh, from our side, we we try to to emphasize women to to be part in this. Oh, in the SDC, we have so much uh, uh, women activity toward toward uh, peace initiatives, uh, but uh, till now, nothing nothing. Uh, Nothing concrete has happened, especially from the, the in our culture and societies that we have in in in, uh, in, in Yemen, where lots of fundamentalist groups are, are, are taking taking part in this conflict, and the the, the the Houthi side, or even the Muslim Brotherhood in the in the, in the Yemen government side. So okay. that was uh, my my. Thank you, Amir. I would love to pass on that question also to Nesrin and to Luis. Just see, maybe if you have a second question, Nicola, that we go with that one directly uh, to give the floor also to Nesrin and at Luis to, to, to answer. Yes, I mean, th there is a question from uh, Andres. Uh, so how has the conflict evolved in the context of uh, COVID in countries like Syria or Yemen? Has it escalated or is the, int the intensity a bit lower? Maybe uh, Nesrin, if you if you can also uh, take the floor to answer. Maybe if you if you heard the first uh, question and also this one. Uh, sorry, first question is fine, but can you uh, repeat the second question just uh, briefly? Uh, so the second question is um, uh, after the like during the COVID crisis uh, in countries like Syria or Yemen, has the intensity of the conflict uh, lowered a little bit, or is it still the same? Yes, Nasrin. Yes. Lahajbo Persaya Kamin, Mutlaka, Jin Karib Kodi, Rolaki Geleki Mazen, Betayvechi, Hem Dakhna Hadata Sharandaji, Wokakiro Yepeja, Yipne Parasnajna, Hilisira Democratic Darla Hadlazen. Of course, regarding the first question, uh, women uh, absolutely can have their uh, active role in, 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 in uh, this time. Uh, we as uh, YPG, uh, uh, as a part of Syrian Democratic Forces, we are, we are uh, uh, on the front line and uh, doing our best and, uh, to, to play, uh, play, play the role in, confront, in, in this uh, situation. For self-defense, uh, women can do a, a lot uh, for uh, awareness in the community. Women can do a lot. For, and, and, and another example in our area, uh, women have already started uh, agriculture activities, you know, planting, and uh, it's a kind of uh, uh, ecologic, uh, you know, protecting the ecology, and uh, it's another type of confronting the pandemic and the pollution in, in the area. 
وقت یکی نیم پرسنج یه تجهی جبو بانگا برز بوترشی ما حضرت خانی فزمان و هر تن ام وید بیشن یه هری زرار دبینه جشاران جنا و شر در تخریبات خود ندافه جبو یه وقت جن هر تن ام عالی کی آشتی نم مطلق از از یه پجی as women defense forces we also replied from our part confirmed that our general command are ready and supporting this call for peace because we believe that the the, the most the most women in in conflict areas are also victims of of the conflict so we believe that as the YPJ, we are really uh, uh, ready and willing to do our role in uh, promoting peace and uh, ceasefire. As we are doing, we are going to do it. So we are going to do it. 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 I call. We are going to do it. We are going to do it. I call women in Yemen to to fight with us, shoulder to shoulder. To confront, to confront uh, the pandemic and also to struggle together. Uh, concerning the, the second question about the uh, the level of of violence of the conflict in, in this area, I think uh, I said the, as I mentioned in my first uh, intervention, I uh, I said that even though we as SDF have. Uh, 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 agreed and responded to the call for the ceasefire, but unfortunately, the uh, Turkish uh, gov uh, government affiliated the militia did not uh, respect the ceasefire. And uh, as I mentioned, they uh, uh, violated uh, the ceasefire more than uh, uh, 56 times. <laughs> <laughs> because we have translation, we need more time. Sorry, just yeah. to, I'd like to mention one, one more point. Yeah, it's just to be able to give the floor again to Lee, who is waiting. In fact, we are running short, but very, very, very briefly in the same, and then I'll, I'll hand over to Lee. Okay. As with vision, Gerika, Jibo Sekmandran Sharam, Tani Barnaka with her group in Kuhod Farizan. Gerika, the Ulachi Berslavin of the. Must, I, I believe that uh, uh, to, to, to really have a ceasefire to uh, bring peace and stability in the conflict, uh, not only non-state actors or armed groups uh, must uh, reply and have the burden of, of uh, uh, ceasefire, uh, also uh, states and uh, other official uh, uh, parties must uh, play their role. Uh, the UN also must cover and uh, 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 must uh, push these countries and these states to uh, to play the role in ceasefire, bring peace. Okay, per perfect, Nesrin. Thank you so much, uh, Louis. Um, th th that brings actually one, one question that we had received from a participant also before uh, that I think would be uh, appropriate for you. Um, so. What can the United Nations and other actors do to ensure that all the parties adhere to the ceasefires uh, and that we, we, we can um, keep the ceasefires for, for the uh, humanitarian work that needs to be done on the ground? Please. Thank you. <coughs> we are glad that uh, seven movements, um, the resistance and liberation movements, issued an international appeal just a few days ago to get the implementation of the UN Secretary General's uh, call for unity in the fight against global uh, pandemic. So that has come in just a few days ago. Next, uh, we can say uh, what uh, Christian brought up. The NDFP, CPP and NPA are quite ready and willing to engage with any government, any administration of the government of the Philippines, whether the Duterte government or a subsequent uh, administration that we engage in serious peace negotiations 
to address the roots of the armed conflict. I would like to just add one point that those who are interested in uh, being involved or assisting the National Democratic Front, CPP and NPA in the peace negotiations in combating the uh, COVID-19, it would be important to see that our struggle is not only intrastate. We are fighting against the Duterte government and the former GRP governments of the Republic of the Philippines for 51 years now, but it is also an internationalized conflict because of the deep involvement of the United States in the conflict, in giving arms and so many weapons lately, the hellfire missiles used against the Palestinians in, uh, in Gaza, as well as against the Syrian democratic uh, people. So we say it's an international conflict also. That's why we say that we in the NDFP since uh, 1994 established our People's Democratic State. The program that is run by the revolutionary government against the reactionary government that is based in Manila. This re revolutionary government covers 74 provinces throughout the country. So I would like to add that as an important point from our point of view. Connie also said, and women in the New People's Army in the NDF play a very important role as red fighters, as well as health uh, professionals and the like. Yeah, so they are caregivers. So the NPA, the women in the movement in the Philippines is a vital uh, component of the liberation struggle. Thank you so much, Rita. The next uh, event, next seminar we organize, we will have uh, more women from the, the <laughs> organizations <laughs> that will join uh, Nesrin um, taking the floor. Uh, so I, I am sorry we are late, but I think it's a very enriching discussion. And I think also that the point of the conflicts are international, so the solutions should also be international. So I think that that's a, that's a very uh, good point. I'm going to hand over here to uh, Mehmet uh, for some concluding remarks. Uh, and we have to uh, start closing. Mehmet. Can you? Okay. Thank you uh, very much, uh, everybody, all speakers, um, and also uh, participants, uh, listeners. Yes, we are facing a new, very new situation. I think we are, our mindset is still not following the situation. And the, uh, the impact of the COVID-19 is huge. I personally, I'm in this room for more than two months, and then I go out and come back in one hour. So this is really, really, uh, and then I know uh, it's very expensive. It has costed billions uh, to the humanity, this COVID. And then I think this is the moment, if you don't think now uh, differently, when are we going to think differently? And I looked at all the existing conflicts, 50 years, 40 years, 30 years. Some conflicts are 10 years old, but they are so destructive. And the COVID was much more destructive. So I think if we want to, is change the thing is the now. We want to choose the, our mind uh, in front of the conf uh, um, conflict transformation is now. Is we want to uh, educate, change the education system is now. In the health system is now. If we don't really uh, think now differently, it will be too late tomorrow. And so the COVID is giving us a, a chance to think differently and to see what we are doing, what we did, why we didn't succeed. Like, I mean, 50 years or 40 years, 10 years, but how can we be successful after COVID? Is there really a chance to be successful in our fight against each other? I mean, it can be from the state side, could be armed groups or armed opposition actors. This is both sides, I think. I would like to really insist, I join here in a stream to call on the states, because the states has uh, the means in general, that has got bigger responsibilities, and they have uh, uh, bigger, uh, if they wanted, they, have, uh, they can do more. This is my, I mean, I, last years, I think there was some 
uh, role, the states are outsourcing too much their uh, role to the civil society. They are giving too much um, thing uh, that civil society should do, do this, and then we are getting money. We are I'm also civil society. Now I think this is not correct. I have been saying this that states can play role. We can support them. We shouldn't, as civil society, play the state's role. I don't put the state, uh, all the state, in the same basket. I know there are different uh, type of the approach. Therefore, I think if state or interstate. Uh, agencies have really to be more aggressive in my war in this period. If, the, if we don't go beyond the passive diplomacy, because we uh, and we don't, uh, the states don't start with a new type of the diplomacy, which is, I mean, uh, the active diplomacy to uh, prevent uh, conflicts uh, and uh, to work on the better uh, or secure the world and fight COVID-19. COVID-19 is an opportunity for the state to come together to do what we can do. So therefore, we are from civil society, we are calling on them, but we, sh we cannot play the role of the states. This should be clear. Or UN made a call, it was very good, very nice call, of course, but I think there should be a proactive, sustained engagement after this call. And the states have to support UN for this uh, proactive, and the states themselves, interregional uh, or interstate uh, regional organization, OSCD, ASEAN, uh, African Union, ECOWAS, uh, Arab Union, these are the states have got a lot of means to fight and to uh, prevent uh, COVID-19, also prevent conflict or uh, resolve the conflict. I think this is really an opportunity more for the states to think differently how to uh, give a new, let's say, uh, role or have a new role in the diplomacy uh, to face uh, the current situation. I'm concluding, it's great, it's urgent, it's an opportunity. Uh, we should uh, all together, of course, civil society can play a role, women are play, can play a big role, but the state as institutions, international organizations, and interstate agencies has an opportunity. This is my uh, uh, call. And I think, uh, of course, uh, armed opposition actors, uh, they can also do a lot. They are part of the conflict. They have the responsibilities. They can be uh, creative. They can be uh, more flexible. They can do some concessions if needed during this period. If not now, when? That's my so we should all think what we can do to improve the situation. So from our small uh, fight group, Fight for Humanity, we will try to mobilize uh, our uh, allies, uh, other uh, civil society organizations, and to uh, make uh, bigger our voice and to support uh, really the uh, calls or the um, uh, initiatives, the, the one that the UN General Secretary took, but we will push them to be more proactive. Thank you so much, uh, Mehmet. I think uh, the, the concluding words is, uh, if not now, when? So indeed, um, and thank you for everyone for participating today. Uh, those who are listening, who managed to hang on, even though we went over time. Uh, I think we will try to answer those who submitted questions that we didn't manage to, to include. We will answer via email, uh, if we have your email. So uh, don't despair. I hope we'll manage to, to get, uh, get the answers to you. Uh, there will be a short report of the event. So we'll, we'll happy to, to, to share that with you um, shortly. And we hope also to be able to organize uh, more exchanges. I think there is a, a very vivid dialogue. Um, and we, we have uh, already several interesting topics and of course uh, more women <laughs> and hopefully with the, uh, with the ELN also the next time if they can be on board. So um, thanks to, to everyone very much. It was a pleasure having you today. Thank you. Bye-bye. 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 Bye. -bye. Bye, -bye. Bye, -bye. Bye.